And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of the origin of mankind. We know, we believe that we were created from Adam and thereafter Eve or Hawa alayha salatu was salam was created from Adam. That's what we believe. And we believe the Quran says that at the beginning of Surah An-Nisa. Ya rabbakum. O people, fear the one who made you. O people, be conscious of he who made you. الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة. He who created you from one soul. وخلق منها زوجها. And created from it its spouse. From Adam, Allah subhanahu wa taala chose to create Eve or Hawa عليها الصلاة والسلام. وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء. And he caused from the two of them a multitude of male and female to spread, to spread on earth from the two of them, which means you are all part of one family. Remember to fulfill each other's rights. Those who are Muslim from amongst you, you have more than one link. Those who are not Muslim from amongst you, the least you can say is you have one link and that is the link of humanity. When you see someone doing something wrong, it is not correct to kill them. It is not correct to harm them. It is correct to teach them. It is correct to guide them. It is correct to tell them and not to lose hope and to continue telling them how many of us do that which is wrong. And we do it for years on end. And the day comes when we turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After a long time, today we witnessed killing of gay people in the United States of America. I want to tell you something very interesting about this. We cannot condone sporadic killing. That's what it is. It's killing no matter where it is. It can be in Iraq or Afghanistan or Pakistan or anywhere else in the world. We are against killing. Why kill innocent people? People who have not fought you. They will be kuffar. They will be disbelievers. You can disagree with them, but you're not allowed to go out and just kill them. You cannot. Your duty is da'wah. Your duty is to go out and give them the message of the deen. So when we say that we condemn the killing of people just like that, it does not mean we are condoning any of their actions, nor does it mean we might be agreeing with every aspect of their living, but it means they are human beings and your duty towards them is to correct them or to tell them or to guide them or to express your disagreement. But you cannot go around killing people. That's something common logic that you can understand. Even if Islam disagrees with disbelief, for example, there are people who hate the Jews. You cannot go and kill them. There are people who hate Muslims. They cannot come and kill us. There are people who hate Christians. We cannot just go and kill them. They cannot go and kill them, etc. You cannot do that. This is something that you need to understand. And if you don't, there is something wrong with your Iman and your brain. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. It doesn't mean I agree with Christianity, nor do I agree with Judaism, nor does it mean I agree with any other behavior or inclination. But what it does mean is as a human being, I don't have the right to take the law in my own hands and to start killing people as and when I wish and I think no, not at all. It is something worth taking note of. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us understand this. This is why I end on this verse to remind you, my brothers and sisters, all of you are related as human beings. Adam alayhi salatu was salam being the father. He was the first of human being. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us resolve our differences. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to do that which is correct. Especially when we disagree with people, we should never ever become violent as a result. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all.